Look at that. Look at that beauty. Yeah, this is so sick. I love this place. That damn show. <laughs> going inside to make them research. Hey, what's up, Joey? Hey, Dan, nice to uh, see you. Hey, nice to see you in here. Let's go, LJ. This is cool. LJ, my camera guy here. Hey, LJ. Hi. Welcome yeah. to Mac and Research, guys. Thank you. Thanks, man. Yeah. yeah. What do you got going on here? Uh, so we just got a shipment in from uh, our partner in Israel, Bull Limited. Okay. And uh, we've got our big eagles coming in. So they, they went through the initial check through shipping or receiving they're getting set on the rack and okay. we're gonna take them back to test fire so this is the baby eagle right here yep so 45 acp so how long have you been doing this one late 90s was there a lightweight version of the of the desert eagle of the of desert the... eagle yes the baby eagle no okay yep is that still well, guess, in, is that still in production that's still in production so these are the steel okay. models but okay we have, we have polymer models out there too but yeah we should uh we should be able to find an l5 all right and an l6 out here today yeah i'm pumped to see it we're a design and manufacturing company so we do the engineering and design here and then we do the assembly is that you so what do you do uh i'm the director of manufacturing okay so i started off here in engineering and my primary role was to bring the manufacturing in the desert eagle back to uh bring it to the u.s okay yeah okay so from israel from israel from yep. israel it was originally from brainerd like originally, uh, originally, or was it? Or, there was guys out of Bemidji and guys out of the Twin Cities. Okay. Uh, they came up with the idea. They did some first prototyping, and they went to Israel with the design to fine tune, tweak, and manufacture. What about the revolver? Uh, the the BFRs have been here, always been here. Okay, yeah. so that has that is yep. the Brainerd, local Brainerdale. Yep. And does that mean Brainerd? Like originally, it, it's been yeah, it's, it's been, been it's been called a lot of a lot of different things. Okay, but it, the biggest finest revolver. Uh, my is wife, it, my wife calls me a lot of different things too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the parts come in through shipping, receiving. They roll down through the shop here. We receive the parts in, and we've got quality hiding behind all these all these parts. We've got raw parts here. Desert Eagle slide catch. So you got your uh, BFR triggers, triggers. Right there. Some raw Desert Eagle barrels. To 50 AUs, we go through. Uh, 800 plus. What is this made out of? That's a 4140 steel. So then this is this is uh, like four mm -hmm. days work for the Desert Eagle guys out yes. here right now. Can I this? Can I this? Big elusive tiger stripe. Yes. Gold. That is ridiculous. Oh, oh that's so badass. Oh my god, look at them all stack right there. Yeah, so the guys out on the production floor have come in here. As they, as they finish up there, they'll come back here and then grab the next next job. So I just heard someone test fire? Yep. Let's yeah, on. let's walk that way. All right, so behind the door right here is where they're test fired every one of the Desert Eagles. Right now, it's live right this second, and Joe is going to let us go in and take a look while he's uh, doing a little test firing. Muff up, buddy. Muff up. So what's he shooting right now? Are these the babies? This is the baby babies? The yep. Okay. Here we go, we're just gonna catch a little shooting. <laughs> that's really an amazing job, or that's a really horrible job. I'm not sure which one. I'm still jury's out right now. To me, I like it. Yeah, that's good. That's well, good, yeah. A lot of people say they'll come be our test players, but <laughs> you if you shoot yeah. 100 plus rounds in the Desert Eagle in a day, like you're stiff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the guy Sister shoots hundreds, thousands of Desert Eagle rounds, sticky cows, sitting inside that room. Yeah, like, that's crazy. That's crazy. If you're complaining about typing, if your hand hurts right now from typing, if your hand hurts like LJ's from moving the mouse, editing, <laughs> sure. quit being such a little pansy. All right, LJ, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Keep Remember it up, Dan. This guy back Keep here. it up. <laughs> Remember the guy back there. That finish. Is there any like custom work like above and beyond, you know, like work that people are like put out and they're like, hey, listen, I don't want just the Desert Eagle. Like I want some other stuff done too that you're done and you're like, this is crazy. This is out of our wheel well, but we've done this or? Yeah, yeah we, we like to customize stuff. Yeah. Now, we actually started making a website for custom Desert Eagles. Okay. So you can go on and mix and match all of our different finish options and put together the gun that you want. Okay. And so, uh, magnumresearchcustoms.com. Yeah. You can actually go do go on there, and there's the Desert Eagle, there's BFR, and the Red Fire. So you can take those and build it up, like from the from the stock up, all the way through. You know, 
Have you done anything for like some like oil prints and like, you know, uh, like over wherever in the Middle East, like made out of solid gold or anything weird like that? Nothing or? that crazy. We've, we've done uh, stuff for the King of Jordan a couple different times. Okay. Uh, and those are usually gold guns. So we've got Desert Eagle production back here. We've got Mike working on uh, White Bat Distressed Desert yes. Eagles. Check this out. So it looks like it's all, you know, it's all distressed out like that. So that's actually the design by design to look like that. That's cool. Do you mind if we hop in here, Taylor, and show them what it looks like on the bench? We would like to get one more shot with Joe. Joe, if we could do this one blindfolded, the next gun, <laughs> and we're going to time you. I think I could. <laughs> <laughs> Scott's out today, but uh, he does like all of our testing. So if I've got digital eagle parts that we want to test, you know, prototype parts, uh, it comes to him. We've got a few of his test guns here. You know, this one. Right, Jesus, who knows dude. how many rounds he's put through this thing. What the heck? But we were just monkeying around. Like, we like to try a different random custom thing. So we had some, you know, I, I do a lot of work with Ducks Unlimited. So we had an engraved sample here. And then we decided to tiger stripe this thing and blast it. Oh, yeah. See, I, I see the Ducks Unlimited in there. Yeah. Yeah. Right, hold that real quick. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Yeah, I've not shot one in my life. God, what's it's got, so some, it's got some heft. So I've shot a 500. Yep. Like, what is it comparable to, like, a shooting 500? This is a semi-auto, so you get the you get the slide action that's going to soak up that recoil. And if, as you pull that back, you can feel how much spring yeah. pressure right, right. you've got in there. And so yeah. I compared that to yes. like shooting well, a 44 fun. Magravolt because there are guys that carry this thing, believe it or not. Dude, uh, I got I got to hold that thing too. <laughs> oh yeah, follow my new carry. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. You like that? Yeah. You like that? All right. Let's see. Oh, completely concealed. That's concealed carry. The best part about this, you guys, is you guys are, you all are probably bored of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming in here like little schoolgirls. Super excited. So that lightweight versus the standard. How much more recoil are you getting on that? It's not that bad. Yeah. Actually, the, uh, the 357 mag and the 44 mag in the lightweight are an absolute dream. But the 50, it hammers with that. If I remember, you can swap barrels, right? Yep. On that? Yeah, you can just yeah. swap them right off. And so if I want to switch to a 44 from this 50, you just pop it off, grab what? yourself another barrel, drop it on. The 50 and the 44 share the bolt face. Can you do that on the... Uh, the six on, inch. You yep. can? Okay. Yep. Can I go to, down to 357 on this? Down to 357. Dude, uh, is that 50, not awesome? Dude, that is crazy. The 50 to the 44. Yep. They share the bolt. Okay. Uh, but the 357, you have to swap the bolt. Okay. So, but it, it, it's the same concept. So you, you go the extra step, you swap out the bolt. Okay. You grab the 357 barrel, drop it on. We actually make it four calibers. So 357 mag, 44 mag, the 429 Desert Eagle, which is one that we developed here, You're and the 58. Okay. So that's a 44 mag Tiger Stripe. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Yeah, this is so sick. We got goldies all over the place right now. I love this place. So this is the one I was talking about. Like, if you want a, a carry revolver, he's making a 4570 right now with an inch and a half long barrel. What? What? How, how, oh, there'll be overall length of three. So this is going to be basically this. Yep. In a 4570. Jeez. Yeah, we make a lot of them. That is, you make a lot of them. Yeah. So, instead of this, <gasps> you can I don't even, how do you even shoot that? I, I have no idea how you shoot that. That's, that's past my... This actually balances really well. Really? It's, su it's surprising. That is surprising. I mean, so I'm not saying one arm a, in it. That's a 500 Smith. Pay attention, because I had no idea. If you put your hands here, it's like you said. It's, it's a knife blade, so it depends on what caliber you're shooting. Yeah. But anywhere from 35,000 psi to 65,000 psi through it's a 2,000 gap between the cylinder and the barrel, it's coming out of there, and it's like a knife blade. I didn't know if you could make the tolerances tight enough, or if you yeah. could. I don't know how that would. It just. If yeah. you make it too tight, then the cylinder can't rotate. There's no yeah. rub on there. That's my one of my personal custom guns. We did a Pentagon cylinder on with the extra couple of cuts into it. So when you're the guy that's been making these guns for 20 years, 
this is his personal custom revolver. Hey, I only get to do it because he lets me. <laughs> because this guy lets him. <laughs> Sounds so. This is almost like your wife. Yeah. This is all the sounding yeah, familiar to me. Yeah, 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 we spend a lot of much time. Probably spend more time than his wife. Right? That happens. That happens. Look at all that thing spins. Yeah, I, what's going on here? Like, why does this spin so good? That's when you get a custom. That's all the extra work that goes into it. That's, you know what we should put on here? Like, we should have like, go home, work overtime, pay raise, yeah, take like a that. loss. <laughs> we Trip on roll. Magnum Research. <laughs> What's did, gonna be today, boys? We tried a stiff guy on there. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a good idea. Trying to do like the animation? Yeah, yeah, didn't work. Yeah, didn't work. Oh. <laughs> he was like, I was thinking like some guy running, he's over here, he's like, yeah, stick guys like this. <laughs> I wanted to be like, shoot, like, You're not having fun. Yeah. <laughs> Whose is this? Is this just main research is yours, or is this? That's actually mine. Too. Is it? Okay. I saved that serial number for like a decade. Serial number one. That a boy. Serial Atta number boy. one. Nice. I'm still sitting here thinking about losing my fingers holding it like this. There's a video out there of somebody shooting that Smith & Wesson for the 460 there. I think it's 460. It takes it. They actually did do a video of the hot dogs. Yeah. This style, this now, this looks like something that would be like at my cabin on the mantle. Oh, yeah. So, what does something like this go for? Probably nine, ten grand. Nine, ten. Okay. Seems like it's a lot of money. I don't know. It's, it just seems really. It looks. It looks really expensive. Like I don't even really. Want, I'm not even comfortable holding it. Like this thing out of my damn hand. <laughs> <laughs> so are there any like badass carbon fiber 22s? Because I'm a 22 guy. Like you go uh, to my house. Like oh yeah, right over here. These are switch bolt rifles. So they're based on a 10-22 platform, except we went and modified the receiver so that our bolt handles are interchangeable. You can go lefty or righty. Oh okay. I run about like 10 60s, like feet per second rounds to mm -hmm. my suppressed 22. Yep. And it it stays below and it still cycles for me right now. But mm -hmm. if I ever run something even slower, it's yeah. definitely nice that you can kind of just, you know what I mean? You can sit yep. here and just kind of run it like a bolt. Like this is really, this is slick. Yeah. This is so, super slick. So I was saying we make a tension barrel okay. for these that's integrally suppressed. So we have a suppressor barrel that locks onto this. And so the fun part about having that on your left side yeah. for a right-handed shooter yeah. is you just hold the bolt closed as you're shooting suppressed, yep. and it's really quiet. How do I stop this from cycling? Because that's my biggest complaint. You I don't want it cycling. You just put your thumb behind Oh, you it. just hold it? Yep. Okay. Ooh. Now that's fancy. That is fancy. I'm pumped, man. Let's walk back into the finish gun room and see what we got for different finishes. That sounds good. That sounds really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's the titanium nitride. So you saw the Tiger Strike yeah. previously. These are some samples we had done up with uh, another finisher. So it's a little bit yeah. more of a brassy look. Yep. Is this called, what is it called? Is this tinning? Is that what that is? Yep, titanium, titanium nitride, tin. T -A -N. Yeah, okay. Yep. Here's the kind of classic. This is the classic that I think the first time I saw one. Like I said, we like to do the custom, like the crazy custom stuff. What? So again, that was actually a hand graver out of Alaska. Dang, that thing's sick. Look at this thing. Look at that. Mm -hmm. This is so sick. I feel a lot tougher. Holding all these, this is like testosterone blowing, you know, and I pull up in a damn, what, a Prius. I did make a comment when I saw you guys come in. I was did like, you? Yeah. are they really driving a Prius? Well, because we travel all over the country. Yeah. I have a, I have a brand new Ram uh, Power Wagon. Yeah. You know, and, uh, we did we did a big video on buying Prius because we're traveling everywhere. Yeah, no, it makes and, sense. I'm, yeah, we're like chewing right, up all of our money. Funny. I was like, yeah, yeah. Come like, 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 so I told him, of all days, you drive a guys. Prius. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those big gun guys rolling the Prius. Whoever did this eagle on here, I don't know if you can pick that up or not. Can you pick that up? If this guy did this eagle, he must hate his wife because he's got to be out there all the time practicing. <laughs> Seriously, like you got to be hiding from your wife or from your family. That is crazy. This yeah. is skills right here. Dude, I love this one. This is it. 
So this that's, is it. That's oh, the God, L5 this. in the 429 Desert Eagle. L5 is the lightweight 5 inch model. Okay. And then the caliber is the 429 Desert Eagle. There you go. This is it assembled. You gotta feel that. Mm -hmm. This thing is so stupid feeling. That's really comfortable. Isn't that comfortable? Very. I remember when I felt that pro tap on that. Like, oh, it, this is all changed up too. Like, that feels so good in my hand. So that is the lightweight six inch model. So that's got an aluminum frame on it. Can I move this? I'm not strong enough. More jujitsu. There we go. And so then we we're like, this one's really comfortable to, too. Uh, just make a six inch model. I think sick looking. Oh yeah, Sexy. When we were doing testing, yeah. uh, offhand was ringing a gong, like a 12 inch gong at 100 yards. Like, uh, my gunsmith and I wow. were out there and we are just dicking around. Yeah. On and which round? On the caliber? The 44 mag. The 44, okay. Yeah. That's so pretty impressive. Fixed barrels on... Yeah. That's like, yeah. that's, that doesn't even make sense, really. Fixed barrels on the Desert Eagle and then a rotating lock and bolt. And so, you get a pretty good return zero yeah. every single time like mm -hmm. there's not like this doesn't move around right and then you have that pressure that's pushing forward on it and that's locking it in and so you find out where it shoots and they're pretty repeatable it operates yeah. like an ar-15 you know because they've got yeah. a gas system that runs all the way down the barrel drops down and pushes the piston back which drives your slide right and unlocks your bolt and so every time you drop this thing forward the bolt goes in and rotates and locks. That's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. That's, these are, dude, good job, man. We do our own bluing in house. Oh, shit. Okay. So, we'll black lock side. And tanks are shut down. We run one or two days a week. Uh, but the majority of our parts get black lock side. So, this is a, a salt bath. And so, we bring it up to temp. And it runs through here on the gantry system. You can see we've got a pretty different. Uh, the different racking to hold the different parts. How bad is this stuff for you breathing? Pretty bad stuff? It doesn't smell bad. bad. No. It doesn't smell too bad. I mean, it smells like car wash kind of smell. It looks you, car wash. When you're in here, you want a respirator. Oh, do you? Yeah. All right, so polishing room. He brings in a raw part here. He runs through all the different belts. And it spits out a really nice product at the end. But we can send that out to the guys that have just been great. That's chop. That's chop. Damn, man. Yeah. So. Thanks for showing us around today. Yeah. You know, I think we got a ton of good content today. Yeah. You know, I appreciate you showing, taking the time to show us in the backwoods of Brainerd, Minnesota, Pillager, Minnesota, the neighbor of Brainerd. Um, we have an amazing company with an amazing crew of people, Magnum Research. Thank you much, Joby. Appreciate your time. I mean, this yeah. was a yeah. great experience. I don't know if you had a good time today, LJ. Oh, absolutely. Seeing it, I know LJ's gonna, absolutely. so on the way home in our Prius ride home, <laughs> he's gonna bitch that he's holding the camera the whole time. He will. This is. Oh yeah. I'm gonna hear about it. That he's like, I shouldn't have to hold the camera all the time. Uh, you know, I'll be, I'll be hearing about it. it right? Someone's gotta do it. Yeah. Yeah. LJ's doing it. Yeah. Thanks a lot again. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It was good seeing you. Yeah. It's good to see you. Cut it. Just cut it there.